Top 10. Number one, go. Number one, Japan. First place ever at KFC. <laughs> Fair play. If you're going to have KFC anywhere else, it would be Japan. Uh, you were starved on that trip, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. You know, first time I'm in Japan. It was horrible. It was horrible. Uh, walk to a 2000 and something nine, maybe ten. 2009. Yeah, uh, six weeks of hot, sweaty, fun. Bob fell and slid in his face for about ten yards and spent about two weeks on massive yeah. graves covering his entire head. And uh, Frank from Gallows literally exploded and jumped six feet in the air with laughter. I didn't see him fall. Though. I didn't see him either. I heard a boom and a horrible scrape and then blood. Uh, three. Uh, six flags, walk to a. <laughs> just one of us. You're going to elaborate? They don't know about it. We got to tell them. We had a day off in the theme park in uh, Six Flags in Dallas, Texas. And uh, we had a queue jump passes so we could go on rides, like just straight to be in the queue and just go on them. And we did that for 12 hours. Good 12 hours, I was. Soundwave Australia. Which one, though? I'm going to go first one. Because last time we played was we, we were early on in the afternoon, uh, yeah, which yeah. meant we flew that day to the next place, which means we missed every after party, which sucked. But we did go to the Talaga one, which is alright. But I'm gonna say first here because it was just it was super cool because you just hang out with a bunch of bands you'd never hang out with because they're from different genres and different countries. And uh, you're all there just to play music and have a laugh and just get drunk in the Aussie weather, it's great. Five. Australia, the first time we went, our first ever day there, where we all just went to Manly Beach and played football. It is. It's amazing. A lot of friends. Super good hours. Number six is the ramps when we played London Astoria, because yes. we didn't plan them out at all. And um, when we turned up, we were like, actually, that's the. <laughs> I so no one went up them. I went up them once. I went up them, yeah. You had to have like a 10 yard run up to like get up them. <laughs> it was so steep. It was like a gradient 10 or something stupid. When we had Stormtroopers on stage at Main Stage Reading, that was fun. Uh, we spent pretty much most of our fee to buy, <laughs> to hire four Stormtroopers for the day. Which Ooh, ended up... Massive geeks. We were massive geeks. Oh, see, it's like a Stormtrooper. <laughs> yeah. Bob yeah. was dressed as Darth Vader. Uh, they they uh, ushered us to like a sign in we had in the day, and it ended up instead of them like flanking us as security, one of them got tackled by some drunk idiot. So it was four stormtroopers surrounded by uh, six Welsh idiots going, Do we talk stormtroopers? We paid lots of money for them. Number eight. I'm going to think where you think of this one. Probably like the Roundhouse show, that was pretty good. Just to be like, like, ah. I just like remember, just like, just feeling like super proud and chuffed on ourselves. Yeah, that was pretty good. Number nine. Do you want to see uh, the first ever release we did with the Dynamite? Seeing that in HMV on, on like a store. And we had like a little. Uh, yeah. Hard Slam was the first Hard Slam we did. Yeah. I remember we saw it in York. And it was like a proper, um, you know, like an advertisement thing with all just with uh, hard slamming. And that was, that was pretty cool. Was, oh, what was that, like 2005, six? Yeah, yeah. Probably quite a while ago. So, uh, yeah, we were all still kids, pretty much. What I would call kids now. Not quite as grown up. Yeah, yeah not quite yeah. as grown up. I just seeing that. You know, it's almost like, yes, we made it. You know, our CD's in a shop, a proper shop, but that was pretty good. Number 10, uh, we went number one albums on Top of Pops. Yeah. Super good albums. That definitely happened. Yeah. That definitely happened. Uh, we, it was so good. They, they flew in all the previous presenters from Top of the Pops, bar one. They couldn't get the one. He said he was busy or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he couldn't come in. But all the other all the other presenters were there. And then we all cracked on the girls allowed. Yeah. Complete happens. Yeah, and then we made girls allowed crack on with each other. Yeah. <laughs> and then we filmed Did it. This happen in the dream? Yeah, you know, it happened. No, it happened. Yeah.